Hello and welcome to the overview video of the IV tool. This tool was originally made by Anna Mulanthi and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can make this IV tool as well. We're going to start out with the first part which will be making the main branches of the tool. So we have an input and we want to generate a certain structure of branches around that input. On a second video we're going to improve on that. We want to create branches that for example have fallen off or maybe create variation in the silhouette. So the first branch version will perfectly follow the input shape, but we might want to have some variation there as well. And in the next part, we're going to scatter around leaves. Now we have all the branches in place, and now we want to use that information to scatter leaves on them as well. Once that all is in place, we have our final system, and we want to, of course, make digital assets from this. So we're going to expose a couple parameters here and there. It's up to you if you want to make this menu bigger and more specialized to multiple things. With that digital asset now built, we're going to the next step, which is then opening this tool inside of a game engine. We want to see how well this tool already works in the game engine. By default, it will actually work pretty well with minimal changes. There are a few tweaks here and there that we want to optimize, like doing things for materials and also vertex cooler could be an interesting topic to talk about. Then there is one more like last bonus video, and that is actually baking things down into a plain cart. So for Project Titan, we went quite high in poly count for the creation of the IV. But in some cases, you want to, of course, definitely bake this down into, for example, a plane. So in that video, I will show you how you can just bake down a result into a simple plane and use that as plane cards to fill in your environments with. So those are all the parts of the videos. I hope you're excited to watch them and see you on the next one.